Hey guys, John here with Terminal Goblin Games, and today we are going to be talking about different types of monsters. There's a lot of ways you can change up uh, every monster in the monster manual of your game of choice by adding your own little personal flair. Today we're going to take goblins as an example. Considering it is the namesake of the channel, I figured that would be an appropriate place to start. I've got a couple of already built-in uh, goblin stereotypes. Uh, so you got the Pathfinder goblins, which look like you know little green alien things, and they're they're murderous and mischievous. And that's that's really fun, you know. That's they are a monster. They are appropriately a monster. They are evil. Then you have uh, this more tribal goblin type. You know, it's he looks like an angular humanoid. Like he's got you know he's got the big ears, the big nose, the really like angular pointed chin. It's kind of looks like a, like a tribesman. Uh, these these are good for especially if you believe uh, if you're kind of like taking your goblins as sort of like minions to orcs or whatever. Uh, then we have stuff like the Goblin Slayer goblins. Uh, if you've never read, watched, or read or watched uh, about read or watched Goblin Slayer, uh, these guys these guys are these guys are nasty. They uh, you don't want them to capture any of your party members. Let's uh, let's, <laughs> let's put it that way. And these guys are they're kind of like Pathfinder goblins in which they're just like pure evil. Except they're also like just tiny, or not tiny, they're like short. Uh, they're short and stupid and very savage. And then there, there's a there's another type of goblin that uh, <laughs> we're not we're not gonna, we're not going to talk about here today. Uh, other than the other than like the stereotypical like you know every goblin being the same, I really like to vary my monsters per region. So if I have goblins that are working with some orcs. I tend to play them as uh, lazy, almost slave-like, so the orcs are beating them up and they're pushing them around, and they're the ones causing them to be, uh, to do, you know, the basically the bitch work. They're the sentries, they're the janitors, they're the watches, that sort of stuff. Uh, and if the goblins are at the are their own thing, like if it's just a standalone tribe of goblins, then I tend to go with the tribal ones that are uh, just malicious, uh, malicious little bastards. Not not quite to the level of Goblin Slayer because we don't uh, we don't do that kind of stuff at my table. And then you have uh, I also run goblins if they're with other uh, goblinoids. So if they are uh, if you know maybe there's some hobgoblins nearby or some some bugbears and stuff like that. Uh, I mean goblins that are they're at the bottom of the totem pole. They're they're tiny guys. They're small. They're they want to get pushed around a lot. And it's it's almost the same as uh, as the orcs where they they get they get given all the crap jobs. Except I usually have them work better with other goblinoids. Uh, you know, yeah, I also I also tend to to vary how the how the goblins look if they're working with orcs and or if I'm running them as like being baby orcs almost. Well, <laughs> not not baby orcs. That raises a raises a lot of questions. I don't want to answer if I'm running them. As like they will grow up to be orcs if left alone, uh, then I tend to have them look more like orcs. They look like uh, little pigs because I, I like pig orcs. Uh, not a you know the the green the green orcs are cool and all, but I I really like the pig orcs the like pig men because it it really shows the the animalistic and evil nature of orcs at least the way I view them. Uh, actually, we'll we'll talk about let's also talk about kobolds. That way, this isn't a super short video here. Uh, you got two classic types of kobold. You got your reptiles and you have your dog kobolds. Uh, again, I tend to use both. One of my players uh, in the my player group that I make the dungeons on uh, dungeon design videos on, uh, they actually befriended two tribes of kobolds. Well, befriended is and they gave them food and didn't kill them. <laughs> that's uh, that's close enough to friends for kobolds. They uh, one is like dogs, and the others are more like lizards. Uh, I have the reptilian ones uh, have the ability to use magic, or if they study for it. Uh, they're also a little bit smarter, and they all share a language. Uh, just they just speak kobold, and one of my players is trying to run, learn a uh, kobold. Uh, right now, he's he's working on common bold. <laughs> he kind of speaks a little bit a uh, little bit of kobold, but mainly still common. And I have the I have the dogs be more like straight up warriors. Like they're they're the ones that's going they're going to be charging in. And you know, fighting people with uh, with spears and slings. Whereas the reptiles, they're they're more they're more of the trap laying kobolds. The dogs do it too, but uh, but a little little less so, a little less clever. But the reptiles, they uh, they really go out with the traps. Like these guys, uh, they had they did some uh, some like experimentation with blood magic and had a little uh, little gray kobold, almost zombies like walking around. 
uh, except they were just like really stupid, not not exactly zombies. Uh, but yeah, there's there's so many ways you can keep your players on your toe on their toes, uh, as well as you know keeping the surprise going. So yeah, they may run into your super special OC do not steal goblins, and if they run into regular goblins, that's going to make your your custom goblins stand out even more, uh, because you know tropes are uh, tropes are a very important thing, especially in gaming, because that gives everyone a standard line of uh, of what to expect. And the fun can come with subtly moving that line up and down. You know, maybe you'll have a group of goblins that speak uh, speak common. And, you know, they're smart enough to, like, lie to the players. Maybe get them to let their guard down. Like, oh, okay, this um, this, uh, this kobold nest, this goblin nest isn't that bad. You know, this, you know, they're probably, you know, they probably just want food and stuff. And then you have the goblins uh, betray them while they're discussing all this. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of ways, a lot of things you can do to spice up uh, common monsters. Uh, even abilities-wise. I once ran a uh, skeletons as a, a pirate ship. I called them skellywags. They uh, they had flintlock rifles and pistols, and only the captain could reload because he had been undead the longest, and therefore he was the smartest. So whenever the skellywags expended their guns, they would either have to throw them down and get into melee, or give them to the captain. And just small stuff like that uh, keeps your players guessing. It keeps the game fun. It keeps it fresh. So what's your favorite type of monsters? Let me know down in the comments below. You know, do you like the like the small mischievous goblins? Do you like the bloodthirsty tribesmen type? Uh, have you made any any of your own that you're, you're really proud of and you want to talk about? Let me know. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you.